1814, we took a little trip along with General Jackson down the mighty Mississippi. We took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we fought the bloody British at the town of New Orleans. We fired our guns and they, he kept it coming. There wasn't as many as there were a while ago. We fired once more and they began to run him on down to Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Old Hickory said we could take him by surprise if we didn't fire muskets till we look him in the eye. Welcome one and all to our tribute to all the U.S. presidents on their birthdays. This is our tribute to Andrew Jackson. March 15th, welcome one and all. I am Phil KOE, joined by my indomitable broadcast partners. Chicken? Tony fucking G. Welcome one and all to our tribute to the presidents of the United States of America. We are starting off with Andrew Jackson. March 15th, welcome everybody. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, joined by my indomitable broadcast partners. Chicken, Tony fucking G. Well, we are here to uh, raise our glass to every single U.S. president and some other dates of note that we will uh, get to as time passes. But for today, Andrew Jackson, Old Hickory, uh, we are going to raise a toast in for every U.S. president uh, what their favorite drink was, if we can figure it out. This is uh, based on a lot of research I've done. And to what I can find, Andrew Jackson was a fan of whiskey, just plain old distilled, usually white whiskey. That's as clear as it gets, folks. Yep. Yep. Promise this, it's not water. This is a bottle of Howard Hooch from Loop River Distilling. From our grain to your glass. 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof. Uh, here in Howard County, Nebraska, we pour our hearts into our grain and our grain into the glass. This is from St. Paul, Nebraska, right here in Nebraska. Yep, we've been looking nice. forward to doing this. Um, and this is a pretty good facsimile to what Andrew Jackson and folks in his day would have been drinking. Uh, yeah. So we're going to give a little taste test and... Also, a, uh, a small little toast to Andrew Jackson and uh, Chicken. While you're looking that up, uh, you, you got a couple of factoids you seem you're wanting to get out. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that, Phil. I was just going to give you a little rundown. Seventh president of the United States, he uh, Fair. was a Democrat Republican. Before let's that not, split. Let's not get into let's that. Let's not get into all that. But yes, before the party split. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he is uh, credited with the modern Democratic. Yeah. Uh, he uh, also a lot of the presidential powers that we now take for granted as a president having Jackson was the person that kind of seized upon that. So he's the person that kind of created the modern presidency that we currently see. Um, but when he uh, got elected and his inauguration party, the uh, party was so wild that Jackson actually had to escape out a window. And he spent the night at a tavern down the street, and they actually had to use orange whiskey punch in giant barrels that they put on the White House lawn to get all of the partiers out. Because Jackson was seen as, uh, strangely enough, uh, despite the fact that he was very landed, he was general, he was a wealthy man who was seen as a president of the people. He was the first president elected when more people in our nation were given voting franchise okay. so he's he's a lot of contradictions he's also one of the few presidents that's actually killed people like a lot of people hmm. not only did he in war he also challenged people to duels that would question him or his wife's honor and the most america <laughs> the yeah right. the most uh the lowest estimate for as many duels as he's been the lowest number was 13 now, you know, the legends grow. That's a, that's well, a pretty good record, a 13-0. Once, yeah, yeah well, no, I mean, he, he got shot several times. Uh, there was, uh, sounds one, like he won. There was one person who he actually said, I'll give you the first shot. I'll let you take the that's first shot. Ballsy. He takes one. This guy was an expert marksman, too. Takes it. Takes Jackson a couple minutes to get himself back up. Returns fire, kills him. Again, I think that's a 13-0 record there, folks. Yes. And the reason he carried... Oh, a cane 
<laughs> old history is he used it to beat people to death, nearly. Uh, he survived an assassination attempt while president, and when the guns didn't go off for the assassin, he turned around with his cane and beat his would-be assassin nearly to death. And he also was responsible for the destruction of the first Bank of America, our first general Federal Reserve. And when asked uh, his greatest regrets and his greatest accomplishments, his greatest regret was that he didn't hang his vice president. And his greatest accomplishment, and it's reportedly the last words he said before he died, I killed the bank. So Andrew Jackson was a fairly colorful individual by any measure. That's eccentric. Sounds, <laughs> Let's, sounds like a Democrat I might actually vote for. <laughs> He's got a couple <laughs> of hang-ups. He, he wasn't perfect, okay? <laughs> but if you're going to... sounds hide, like an American. If you, yeah, he is a, authentically American. And to that, Andrew Jackson, <laughs> we raise our glass to you as the seventh American president of these United States, Andrew Jackson, lover of whiskey, U.S. president. Gentlemen. B-A-M-F. Happy birthday. Mm. Oh, that is actually very sweet. Yeah. Nebraska corn. Mm -hmm. That's really smooth. But this is what they would have been drinking wow. in his day. Now, uh, Tony, as a clear spirit, what do you rate that? I'm still taking that all in. That's an interesting, mm -hmm. that is interesting. I, I, I really expected more of a moonshiny type booze, but that is very sweet and much more mellow and smooth. Yeah, you can cocktail that if you mm -hmm. want to. Yeah, there's not much burn to it, mm -hmm. right? It, it goes down pretty smooth and even... Throwing it back wasn't too hard. That's why I'm gonna take a few it. drinks and not slam it because mm -hmm. I'm like I might want a second taste of that, and I'm glad I took three. Yeah. I'm, wow, I'm, I'm thirsty. So. No, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I, on a on a clear spirit scale, I'm I'm surprised. I think you could do a lot with that. Uh, I'm gonna give that a four. I'm actually quite impressed with that as a clear spirit. Yeah, I, it's got a very distinct wow. corn flavor. Yeah, love that. But it's that. like almost sweet corn. Yeah. So I'm going to give it very uh, nice. 375. Yeah. I like it. For for a clear spirit, for sure. You're, they're Cause, hearing it to vodkas and stuff. Well, that's, yeah, vodkas and gins right. and, and tequilas, yeah. You could do a lot with that mm -hmm. and create just creativeness of what you could do for the a clear spirits and how much you could probably blend and mix that with some other recipes. I don't think you can go wrong with that. I, I agree for mm. right. for a clear spirit. That's better than most clear spirits yeah. I've ever touched. Top, middle, bottom shelf, gentlemen. That for me is a middle shelf. Uh, it's an it's an interesting name. It's a good story. It's a local, uh, but it doesn't have the Oh, the je ne sais quoi you would have for a top shelf that you would want to broadcast as a top shelf. I would say definitely a middle. I, I, I disagree. I, I'd still say bottom mainly. This is one of those like best kept secrets. This mm. is for small groups to enjoy. And, and okay. that's, that's to, to me. Sure. And not, not for its quality necessarily. It probably could be a middle shelf if you really didn't care. But that's kind of. That's my secret little thing to have some fun on my own. And okay. This is, I can see that. You know, this is, um, depending on how much room, but this would probably be normally a middle shelf for me just because it, not a lot of clear whiskeys are going to make it to the middle shelf, but this yeah. one, I think, will. Uh, I don't think I'd ever put a clear spirit now, like my on middle shelf. Now, my middle shelf's getting a little too... Yeah, that's, yeah. that's my thing. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. of the glare. That's yeah, yes, true. the glare, yeah, the aesthetics, true. yes. But, as I'm known to say around here, all that being said, folks... This was our toast and tribute to the seventh president of the United States, one Andrew Jackson, Ole Hickory. Thank you much, folks.